to pull noodle. I split it, at least one uh, part of it, one side of it. And that's because I wanna fit it over this little ridge. Now, some of you guys who have truck campers with pull-out beds, might, lofts, might have a similar thing. This is about three quarters of an inch thick right here. So I can slide this right on the back of it like that. Now the reason it slides back and forth is about 12 inches on either side that I don't need because these only come in four foot uh, lengths. So what I'm doing is I'm using it for padding for one thing because I move around here sometimes with the bed out and when I'm pushing it back in and out I have a nice handle you know there you go just push this way. Uh, I don't bump my head on it when I'm coming in, but it also keeps the bedding in. That's what I'll show you here. Uh, I'm gonna pull out these pads first. They're about three and a half feet wide. These are the underneath pads. There, and see how they fit up real snug to this now. So they're tight. Solves that problem because they were kind of loose. Now I should tell you that I've got another pool noodle. A smaller one here that keeps it from going this way. So that's tight there. Now the next layer of padding, because I got about six inches that I make a little mattress out of this. And I'll pull it up here. This is what I lay on, you know, all the way back, my feet go all the way back to the corner there, to the vertex. This actually keeps this from sliding too far up. It actually grabs it right there. And it keeps it there. So, and lastly, in the morning, sometimes I like to sit right here and dangle my feet and just wonder what I'm gonna do today, which is usually not much except golfing. Uh, and my legs kind of, you know, they're soft. I mean, my legs aren't soft, <laughs> they're just regular legs, kind of skinny. But this is soft and you can sit here and dangle and ponder what you're gonna do today. You know, golfing for me, I said, right, yeah. Uh, for hours, comfortably. So yeah, pool noodles, man. They're like uh, the best thing since sliced Velveeta. You remember those? cheese slicer things you got that you just go yep and here comes a piece of Velveeta which isn't even cheese but man it was good 